the postals have the transform to start with. Just the usual gizmo to move object around. If I press shift, I can move the pivot point across. And if I press shift again, I can move it and change it. If I need to fix it, I'll press reset axis then to bound center or to center mass. I recommend to assign a hotkey to this so that you can quickly reset the axis uh, during your sculpting session. Then we have bend. And so it goes around the gizmo. And you can modify the amount of bending. Say point 0.1. Or say I'll go to 111. So a couple options to play with. Then we have twist. Again, Felix self-explanatory. I can go and twist this to a lot, make a different type of a twist. Works pretty cool with different complicated shapes because again it gets them voxelized and you get interesting shapes that are not like deformed as as uh, traditional topology. So now it's actually like a, an, in, an interesting voxel layer, or almost like a voxel cloud all around you. The next one is warp, similar to. A twist has different parameters to modify the warp. I feel it kind of makes more sense and more easy than, say, bend. Uh, then we have Excel uh, tool. It pretty much just allows you to create a lot of copies of the object. And we can create a lot of them, right? And then all of them are instances of the original object, so we can then start sculpting on top, uh, creating our, our shape. Can be useful if you want to, for example, sketch a space station really quickly. <laughs> 